See, in your life, you're going to get what you tolerate. If you want to raise your standards, you need to raise your environment. You think people who are very wealthy became very wealthy because they are just so much more special than you are. Rise and shine, it's Espresso time. <laughs> I wake up every morning. Espresso, keep me going. I wake up every morning. So let's start your day off right together. Grab your coffee and sip on today's message from Ed Milet. Also, if you want to learn how to have more confidence, check out my 254 Confidence series. It's free. The link is in the description below. Keeping promises that you actually make to yourself. In other words, self-confident people really are self-trusting people. See, in your life, you're going to get what you tolerate. Stop tolerating for these people who have believed in you all your life and inferior life for you. Stop allowing God to bless you and give you all this giftedness and opportunity and settle and tolerate less. For those babies that are sitting here with you, your children and grandchildren, stop being willing to tolerate less for them. Don't tolerate it anymore. Yeah, you gotta give it your best, but it starts making a decision that this is over. I don't tolerate this life anymore. Pretty good's not good enough for my family. Pretty good's not good enough for my grandmother. Pretty good's not good enough for my grandpa, my parents, my future children. Pretty good ain't gonna get it done for this family. Now I hope you hear them whispering to you, he's right, you can do this. You're great, you're special. You were born for a reason. I hope you can feel that. Life's gonna give you ultimately what you'll fight for. One of the hardest things in the world to do is to raise your standards. Everything that you are surrounded by keeps you where you are. Your friends, your family, the media you consume, your habits, everything. Your environment has been perfectly created to keep you exactly where you are right now. If you want to raise your standards, you need to raise your environment. I met up with a friend of mine recently who I've known for 12 plus years and he was talking about how much I changed over the years. And for those of you hardcore fans of mine, you can go back in my content and see how much I've changed. But specifically for him, he's an entrepreneur. I've seen his business grow over the years. And he talked about how much more willing I was to be truthful, <laughs> to be honest, to push him, to push him when it was uncomfortable and believe in him even harder to say the things that are uncomfortable that need to be said that will help him get to where he needs to be, to believe in people more than they believe in themselves. He's seen the changes in me and how much more direct I am, how much more confident I am, and how that's helped him directly in his business and his life. Where did that come from? It came from my videos. If you go back and watch my old content, I didn't have a lot of confidence. I loved what I was talking about. I thought it could help, but I didn't have the emotional commitment to the words. A lot of my messaging and belief has stayed the same but my confidence and my commitment and my standards have raised because of the videos that I consume, because my environment was a certain way and it was pretty good. But now in watching my own channel, watching my own content, being a subscriber to myself, making my videos for me and then sharing it with the world, I feel like I have all these people on my wall and more in my ear every day. I've got Steve Jobs talking to me every day. I've got Oprah Infrey in this ear. I've got Elon Musk back over here. I've got all these people every day, all these successful people in my ears constantly. When you are around successful people, you will become more successful. When you hang around these people, you will start to think like they think. You will adopt their mindset. You will see the world the way that they see the world. And so you have a choice. Look at your current environment. Look at the people who you're currently hanging out with. Look at the media that you are currently consuming. Does it lift you up? Does it build you to be a better version of you? The thing that you want to go off and do, the thing that you need most in your life, are you surrounding yourself with that enough in your environment? Are you taking enough of it in? I want more belief in my life. And so I get a daily injection of belief through my channel, right? I inject myself with belief every day so that if you come around me and you've got a cold and you sneeze on me, right? You're a negative person. You're pessimistic. You sneeze on me with your negativity. I'm good because I have so much belief in me from the injection. But if you're not as solid, if you're not as strong, if your environment doesn't support that, then you stay where you are or worse, you start to go negative. And so I've grown in my abilities, in my confidence, in my skill set, in my mindset by being around the people that I profile on my channel every single day. 
when you raise your environment, you raise your standards. So I'm gonna give you a three-step process that you can use to also raise your environment and raise your standards and get to where you wanna go in life. Here we go. Determine your one word. I wrote a book, your one word. You can pick it up or just quickly go through this exercise where you think about what is your one word most important core value. You are a human being and every human has a single most important core value. For me, it's belief. Whatever you figure it out, it's always something positive. I've never had somebody's one word be hate or death. It's always something positive, but it's an aspirational thing. For me, I wanna believe more in myself and others, even more so than I do right now. Your one word, your most important core value is aspirational. Whether it's freedom or inspire or motivate or care or belong or family or extraordinary or believe, whatever it is, it's a personal choice. But whatever you pick, whatever your most important core value one word is, that's what you need more in life. That's what you need to surround yourself more with. And so the very first step to figure out what kind of environment do you want to make? This might not mean anything to you. People ask me to, can I buy those posters? Well, this is a picture of, of me and my parents when I'm like nine years old. You want a picture of me and my parents on your wall? This is an environment for me designed around belief. You need to start by figuring out what is your one word most important core value. Step number two was then you create an environment around it. You think about what's on the walls. This is the easiest part. What's on the walls? When you walk into the place where you are working, what's on the walls? What's on the background of your computer screen? What's on the background of your cell phone? When you load this, we're loading this how many times a day? What's the message that hits you? <clears throat> Design your environment. The beautiful thing about designing an environment is you do it once. I figured out that these people meant something to me. Every, every poster back here tells a story. That's personal to me. I like being in here and having Steve Jobs staring me down, my favorite entrepreneur, E.P. Janini behind me, my parents, Howard, Kanye. I like having these people on my wall. They all tell me a story. It's a reminder every time I walk in, boom, they're hitting me in the face. And the beautiful thing is I only had to do that once. I had to sit down and figure out what I wanted to have on my walls. I had to go off and create the posters and buy them. And then that's it. You set your environment up once and then it motivates you every day forever. And so your office environment, what's on the desk, what's on your computer screen, what's on your cell phone, what's in your bedroom, what's on the mirror, design your environment once around your one word. So this means believe to me. Figure out your one word and then create your environment around it. And step number three is establish a morning routine to lift you up. So again, once you figure out your one word, you've created your environment, now we gotta do daily habits. What's the thing that helps make you feel your one word on a daily basis? If you did the thing to help make you feel your one word, your most important core value, that makes you feel bold, confident, powerful, unstoppable, you did that thing every single morning, your life would be dramatically different. You will force yourself to raise your standards through your habits and your routine. So what is the thing for you that makes you come alive? For me, how do I get believe in the morning? I have to think about an entrepreneur that I helped yesterday. So much of what I do is just in front of, I'm talking to a camera. You know, my wife is here in front of me doing her work. I got these people behind me on the walls, but I'm just sitting here talking into a camera. It's easy to forget the impact that my work has. It's easy to get up and just live life when there's nothing forcing you to have to get better. And so I remind myself of the impact that I had yesterday. I think about an entrepreneur that I helped out through my content, through my one-on-ones, and then I have to share a message. The sharing the message makes me feel like I'm contributing again. That's what makes me feel belief. That's how I have to start my day. If I don't do that, I don't have as good a day. So whatever the thing is, when you figure out your one word, whatever the thing is that makes you feel that emotion, not just checking the box of, yeah, I did it. You have to feel that every day. If you did that first thing every morning, your life will be dramatically different. So number one, figure out what your one word is. Number two, design an environment around it. And number three, create a morning routine that will lift you up. Now I've got a really special bonus script that I think you're gonna enjoy. But before that, question of the day, I wanna know what is one change that you are gonna make to your life to raise your standards? Let me know in the comments below. Listen, listen clearly. I wanna pronounce a benediction on every grieving, weeping, depressed, lonely, frustrated, tired spirit, your period of mourning is over.
touch your girlfriend, your sister girl, your cousin, or me, Ma, and tell her I cried my last tear yesterday. Yesterday. I cried my last tear 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 yesterday. You can send them flowers back. You can give that sympathy card back. You can stop looking at me all pitiful. You can stop seeing me as charity. I got my strength back. I got my fight back. I got my drive back. I got my focus back. Glory to God. I'm forgetting those things which are behind and reaching to those things which are before. I got some press down in me. Yeah, yeah, shake your sister girl and say, I got some press in me. That's how I got in here tonight. I got some press down in me. That's why I'm watching on television. I got some press down in me. I got some fight in me. If you don't believe I got some press in me, look back in my history and ask the folk who fought me. Ask the people who said I would never make it. I got some press in me. I made it without them. I made it in spite of them. You think rich people are special. You think people who are very wealthy became very wealthy because they are just so much more special than you are. It's one of the biggest misconceptions in the world. They became rich because at some point they said, I think I can do something with my life. I'm sick of it. I figured out certain talents of mine. I don't like this thing. My life sucks. I want changes and they changed. Very simple. You can do that as well. If you want to know what the number one success killer is in the modern world, go check out the video right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe and I'll see you there. There's a thing in our culture that's killing our culture. It's killing success.